this Frolic camper has a door that uh, has a doorknob on the right and it opens out so uh, when you go down the road uh, the wind can catch it if it's not closed real good and uh, last year when we were headed up to the Smoky Mountains I noticed uh, when we were on the interstate going at faster speed that the top and the bottom of this door were pulling away from the camper the latch was holding but uh, the bottom and the top were pulling away so I stopped and put some duct tape on the top and bottom to hold it good till we got where we were going and uh, so I think what's happened is the wood inside the frame is getting soft and coming apart probably and it's not rigid so uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is take the skin apart uh, around the edge and uh, see what I can do with that wood frame inside I wish I could take the skin up completely apart but um, I don't know how I would do that with this how it would come apart right here at the glass or how it would go back together so um, if I can get that apart then I may then I'll take it all the way apart build a new frame otherwise I'll try to build a, a new frame just um, uh, reaching in from the edges so we'll see how that goes this is the inside of the door and it looks like the main way that the skin inside and out were connected is just the outside skin was folded around over the edge and uh, to the inside this is the inside of the door and uh, so I'm just going along here and folding that back and uh, so we'll be able to take that apart once I get get all that folded back All right, so I've got the edges of this door skin apart, and uh, it's kind of what I thought. The uh, the wood frame in here is uh, rotten, but it's it's mostly good up uh, up in the upper part of the door. But in the bottom, you can see where it's uh, kind of rotten right here. And on this side, uh, it's, it's come apart. So I'm gonna figure out how to replace that and get that uh, sturdy so it won't uh, be flimsy and flexible and um, so it'll be better going down the road. So the bottom of this uh, part of the framing is obviously rotting away. I'm going to cut, uh, make a cut up here in where the good wood is and uh, make kind of a step uh, so I can lap a good piece on and get a lot of glue in there and make it good and solid <clears throat> and um, replace that bottom part. Alright, I got that cut off and also got a notch cut so that I have uh, it's a pretty good size notch. I want to get plenty of surface area uh, for my glue, and then I'll put some uh, either some screws or some um, uh, shoot some nails in there to hold it while it dries. But that should uh, make a good tight seam for this new piece. All right, I got that notched out, and I've cut another piece of good wood. Uh, with a notch that matches so I'll just um, glue up put glue on both sides and uh, clamp it nail it and let it set all right so the piece that I just fixed here was on the, the hinge side of the door and I just glued that shot some nails in it and uh, so that's going to take care of that piece and then I'll put a new bottom piece in here but I still wasn't really sure why this this side was so flimsy and the bottom was of the outside of the door was flimsy 
and the top of the outside of the door was flimsy and you can see it looks right now like it's a little bit bent and uh, so what I found was that there's a spot right in here where the lock goes there's a, a hole made for the lock and that's a weak point and I think I think it's cracked there and broken and so this um, you can you can see how it kind of flexes right there in that spot. So, uh, what I'm going to do is replace that whole piece. I have to make a piece that'll match that. Um, and it's also got this on the on the bottom. You can see it's got a um, get it focused right there. There's a nut right there and a long. Uh, rod that goes from top to bottom and it's threaded and it's got a nut on top and bottom I guess to give that more strength um, and so I'm gonna have to put a notch in there for that and um, hopefully I can get that whole piece in there and um, uh, give a whole lot more rigidity to that door all right I got this piece out of the side here and um, it doesn't look too bad overall, but right here there is a place where it's um, got a crack on the on this side, and then over on this side also. So that made it be able to flex and bow, um, even though it's got that rod in there. So I'll make a new one and put that rod back in there like it is, and uh, the ends of the new one will be good and solid. This one is. Uh, a little bit rough, so uh, hopefully I'll take care of a problem. This is the piece that I took out of the door that was flimsy and actually broken in the middle. Uh, it's got this rod running down this groove here and um, you can see you take that out and you look down here you can see how how it's bending because it's broken in the middle part part of the way through and uh, so what I've done is made another piece to be just like it with the same notch and everything same dimensions and I've got to, uh, but I gotta cut this groove in this new piece so that that rod will fit in there I tested out a uh, setting on the on the table saw and uh, cut this test piece and I ran it through and then I turned it around and ran it through again and it cut this and I measured it made a little adjustment and did it again so uh, I think I got it set just like I needed to cut that groove so that's what I'm gonna do now so here's the new piece with the groove cut in it for the rod so um, now we just need to cut this hole for the lock and uh, we'll be ready to put it back together well we got the door painted and put back together and put back on I uh, had to touch up these hinges with a brush I couldn't get them off they were riveted in so I had to paint them with a brush and uh, got that on there and you can see that where it used to bow out at the top and the bottom um, now it's nice and flush so it won't bow out when we go down the road also painted the inside decided to paint that red to match the camper color. I think that turned out pretty good. Uh, did not attempt to get every dent out of the door. I really uh, didn't have what I needed to do that. I'd really have to put new skin on the door to do that. So I uh, straightened it out the best I could and I uh, got the lock working well and um, got it all put back together. <laughs> 